Uh, this is DJ from DJ's Game Box. I was wanting to show you guys uh, an app that I use um, to do daily devotions in the Bible. Um, so here we go. It's called Devotion. Okay. So um, it goes there's an AM a devotional, there's a PM devotional, there's trivia, and there's Bible humor. So, and you can read through yesterday, the days before, and everything. So, let's check out today's. So today, this is the morning one. It says, the eye is the lamp of the body. If your eyes are healthy, your whole body will be full of light. That's the NIV version. That's Matthew 6.22. And then it gives a little um, devotional part about that verse. How can an eye be good or bad? It all comes down to, to our perception and how we interpret what we see. It's easy to jump to conclusions that someone has done us wrong when it rubs on our own insecurities. But in reality, they were innocent. Our eye perceived incorrectly because of our lack of understanding. How you see reality determines whether you see light. Think you may have a bad eye? If we catch ourselves in the act of bad perception, immediately find something positive. Over time, we can stop the bad habit of seeing with a bad eye. Okay, and then you can have, you have the option of commenting on this. So, let's, let's put a comment. Let's put, uh, think positively. Focus on God. Let's put Jesus Christ. All right. So, where's my comment? Did it do it? <laughs> there it is. Why is my picture as that girl? <laughs> oh, no, it'll update. Think positively and focus on Jesus Christ. Okay, so let's go back and let's read the PM one called Our Actions. It says, Dear children, let us not love with words or speech, but with actions and in truth. 1 John 3.18 We can show the truth of our love for one another in our actions. Isn't that how we ourselves feel love? Others' actions? Today is a great day to, lo to lovingly spread some cheer. Put a quick note in the mail to someone who needs encouragement. Bring flowers to a lonely person to remind them they are loved. Spend time reading to a child or older person. They don't have to be overwhelming things that we intend, yet never do. Instead, try small, doable actions that are communicated with love. Yeah, that's... Good advice. Okay. Let's check out today's trivia. Let's see. This man's name means beloved. Let's see which one do we think it is. Jesus, Paul, Silas, or David? I don't know. I'm going to go with Jesus. Oh, David actually means, David means beloved in Hebrew. Probably should have known that, but that's okay. Okay, let's go back and let's try. Bible humor. Let's see what this is all about. Looking for a church? Yeah, uh, okay. Try one that's prayer conditioned. Ha ha ha. Instead of air conditioned. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching this review. Uh, I do recommend this devotional app. So um, let's get in the Word, in the Bible, and uh, do some devotions every day. Thanks for watching.